shown itself to be impossible through negotiation with people with hard heads could be carried further through developing education as a path towards freedom. In many countries today, Weimar schools have become another elite form of education. Who can object if children are receiving nourishment that will lead them to become free, caring, and creative individuals? But if this is only available to those who are able to pay for it, then this is far from what Steiner and I had intended. Everything depends on individuals becoming free. People today have become passive. Used to being told what to do. Will enough individuals find their core of inner freedom and, and take initiative wherever they are placed in life? That will allow what is necessary for good forms of governance to come into existence on this earth. The threefold social organism is still needed in the world today. Of course, times have changed. And it will not be for you as it was for us in 1917 or in 1919. But Steiner had told me that humanity would have another chance <coughs> after a hundred years had passed. In 1917, I failed to shorten the war. We failed again in 1918 and at Versailles in 1919. You have all felt the consequences of these failures. But out of this situation, I believe, I hope, something has been learned. Humanity has passed through a 20th century graduate school of suffering and is learning to stand on its own feet without the crutches it relied on in the past. Are we ready? to be inspired by what it truly means to be a human being. Liberty as the ideal in all matters of the mind and spirit. Equality as the recognition in every relationship of the other person's inalienable human rights. Fraternity in the transfer of goods and services in ways that serve the interests of all. greatest failure of society is war. Those who believe in the super powerful state desire to promote war because it gives them a means to control population. A free human individual is the one power that will liberate us from the interventions of government personalization of the financial system. Never let anyone tell you war is inevitable. In our time, no war ever is.